Hey guys, welcome back to another Stitch Fix unboxing video. I've got my box right here and it's a very, very small box. In fact, I think it's the smallest box I've ever gotten from Stitch Fix, but that does not mean it's not gonna be a good box because this probably means that it's going to be all clothes. Let's try that again. Hopefully there's nothing breakable in here. If you are new to the whole Stitch Fix styling service, I do have a lot of information in the description box for you. Just giving you lots of tips and things that I've learned along the way that might help you if you do decide to try Stitch Fix out. And if you are new here to this channel, I just want to take a second to say hello to you and welcome. I upload every Monday and Friday. I do a lot of fashion, clothing reviews, and lifestyle content. So if you like stuff like that, don't forget to subscribe and let me know that you are here. And don't forget to like this video if you do like this type of content. It just lets me know to keep making this video for you and it really does help me get further here on YouTube. Here's a shipping label in case I want to return something. This envelope has all the price information and the note from our stylist, but I like to always put that at the end of the video just because we like the surprise. So one little package in our box today. It looks like we have lots of colors. We have a pair of shorts. And we could always use a pair of shorts in the summer. Um, I think I have gotten something from Cosmic Blue Love before, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But the length of these look really nice. I don't like my shorts to be super short unless they're high-waisted. There's a little bit of stretch in here, not as much as um, probably like American Eagle, but they feel nice. It looks like good quality, so can't wait to give these a try and style them for you. I do like the neckline of this. It feels really nice and lightweight. I love the color. It's almost like a faded white at the bottom of the shirt. Fernwood dip dye tie waist top in light blue in the size medium. So the tie dye is such a big trend this summer. I actually kind of like how this one is a little bit more toned down. Um, it's still into that tie dye trend, but it's just a little bit more unique. It does look like it's slightly cropped. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is this little tie right here, but sometimes I end up liking them. So we will see when I try it on. color. Um, this is from 41 Hawthorne. This is size medium. Oh, I don't like this scrunchie around the waist. Around the waist, yeah. I could see myself wearing this with like high-waisted pants or something. And I've gotten 41 Hawthorne in the past and they just are really good quality. So we'll see. I will style it and we'll see how I feel about that. So cute. Oh, it's from Paper Moon. I feel like I've gotten something from Paper Moon before. The Tinsley Sweetheart Knit Tank in black size medium. I could see myself getting this. There's a little bit of a rouged dial right here in the middle of the blouse. So it kind of like scrunches in around this area. I think it'll accent it just a little bit, which I like that. My stylist has been doing such a great job of listening to my request recently. I so appreciate it. I can't wait to try that one on. So this is from the brand CC. This is the Jenka tie neck blouse in shade pink size medium. I don't know how I feel about this. I do like the ruffles around the collar and I like the tie around the neck. I just don't know how I feel about this type of puff sleeve. Usually I don't know how I feel about them until I try them on. So you never know. I might end up liking it as soon as I try it on. in this one. 
But I'm gonna go try this on in my living room so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm gonna style everything and then I will let you know how I feel about them. The jean shorts I'm really happy with. I would say this is more like a mid-rise on me, but I do like it. Like I could see myself getting these. I love the length of these shorts. This is the perfect length for me. And I love this little amount of distress that comes on here. I feel like these are just very basic. I don't think I could ever run out of room for just the classic basic shorts. So yeah, I feel like these fit me perfectly. Like I don't feel like I'm suffocating in these. Um, I do wish that they were just a little bit higher waisted because you know how you get that little gap right here? I get that with shorts like these. So that's why I prefer them to be high waisted just because they just feel nice and secure around my waist. But but these ones I don't mind. Depending on the price, I could actually see myself getting these. This is that magenta blouse that we got. Honestly, like I would just get this for the bow. I love the bow. I love ties like this. I think they're so cute. I'm actually surprised how much I like this. I wasn't like I wasn't blown away by it. And the sleeves definitely are not my favorite. I do like the color. I love how bright it is. I do really like how simple and classic this shirt is. And I do like the ruffles around the neck. I think it's just definitely my style, but so far I like it. See, this is what happens when I try on outfits. I end up really liking them. First of all, this vintage gold color is so pretty. This is incredibly light and comfortable for the summer. And I love how this looks. Like this is a very flattering outfit. And to be honest, I would never have seen myself going for something like this, but usually I go for very strappy, thin strapped items, but this one I actually really like. Just a close up of the ruffles around the neck. And then this is what the back looks like. At first I was very iffy about this stretchy elastic around the waist, but actually I think it really helps when I wear it with high waisted jeans. And I don't know if she had that in mind when she did this box, but it literally goes perfectly with these high waisted jeans. So I'm very surprised with that. I love how it lays on me. And this is such a simple outfit, but it's very put together. One other thing I'm noticing is that it doesn't show bra lines. Very happy with that. So this skirt, I actually was inspired to buy this from my previous Stitch Fix box. I didn't buy it from the Stitch Fix. I actually went on Madewell. This is like the ultimate summer outfit for me. The thing that I really like about this smock top is that it doesn't accentuate this part of my shoulder. The straps are thick enough that it kind of draws attention away from that. These shoes I also got in a previous Stitch Fix too. So just kind of putting all my Stitch Fix boxes together, but I am definitely getting this top. I love this ruffle design right here. I think it's so cute and girly. I am definitely embracing my girly side. Usually I would probably pair this skirt with a white top, but I actually like how this looks with the black. I think it's something that not everybody would go for, but personally, I like it. I love how the back of this top goes a little bit lower than the front. I think it just adds something little. And I like how we have a black scrunchie in too and it goes with black top. And then I did mention earlier that it came with like this rouged material right here. And I like the look, I think it's very flattering. And I'm so happy that I have another way to wear this skirt from Madewell. I do hope that this is a more affordable brand because I really, really like this top. So I really like this. Um, this is my maxi skirt from Lauren Conrad and it's very summery. It's nice to have with something like this just because it's very cropped. And I can tell with this material, I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty expensive because it feels like anthropology. It fits my shoulder shape really well. So I'm actually really, really liking this. And I love how it's a very subtle, different approach to the tie dye. I think it's really cute. I'm glad I, kept this skirt. I almost got rid of this a while ago, but I have held on to it and I'm glad I did. I just paired it with my Lulu heels. And I feel like this is such a trendy summer outfit. It's very 
boho still. This little tie right here isn't throwing me off as much as I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to completely not like it at all, which they're not my favorite, but this does not look horrible at all. And then this is just an idea of what the back looks like. And once again, we're not getting any bra lines, which I am very thankful for. Sometimes stuff like that just really annoys me. It's the small things that get me. I love how this top makes me feel so vintage, but very dressed up. So now it is time to look at price information and the note from our stylist. Um, I'm thrilled that you loved the last fix and honored to have the opportunity to style you again today. I had a chance to watch your YouTube channel and it was so exciting to see you unbox a fix. I love being able to see you try on the pieces so I can send you the perfect fit. I've got my eye out for the cream smocked blouse and the high rise white denim and we'll send them along soon. I grabbed these high waisted shorts by Cosmic Blue Love that I thought would be the perfect fit. Style them with the mustard 41 Hawthorne blouse for a fresh spring look. I also included this versatile cloth and stone blouse in a modern chambray style. This piece can be paired with colored jeans or skirts all season long. I hope that you enjoy trying on these items and I will look forward to seeing you in your next review. I love that she's watching my videos now. So the CC Sportswear, I hope I'm saying that right. Do excuse me if I say these brands wrong, but this is the CC Sportswear pink blouse in size medium. This is $68. I feel like that's, that is a bit pricey for something like this, but I liked it. Like I like how loose it fits. It's nice to have stuff like this in the summer, but I definitely don't think I'm going to keep this. I wasn't completely in love with it that I absolutely have to have it. Like I liked it more than I thought. Um, I'm definitely more into plunging necklines right now, but I like how this one is very tastefully done. I do like it. I think it was a good choice. And then we have this cloth and stone dip thigh tie shirt in medium. Oh, this is $78, $80 for a shirt. I don't know if I can swing that. Yeah, I do like it. I like how it looked on me. When I was looking at the tag for this, I could tell it was gonna be a bit pricey. Maybe since um, she introduced this type of style to me and I actually like it better than a tie dye, maybe I'll start keeping an eye out for a shirt like this. The Cosmic Blue Love Distressed Shorts in size 10. These are $58. That is pretty reasonable. It is um, still like more pricey than American Eagle, but it's a different brand. And I like how these looked on me. I might be tempted to get these. I do really like how they look on me. So I will get back to you. I do have a pair of Levi shorts and one pair of American Eagle shorts, but I can always be investing more shorts because I definitely need shorts. But $58 for a pair of shorts is pretty reasonable. Like I feel like it's right in the middle. Then we have the 41 Hawthorne tie neck detail blouse in mustard. This is $58. Um, I'm not surprised with that. I have gotten stuff from Hawthorne in the past and their quality is really good. I definitely am on board with 41 Hawthorne. They're very trendy and cute. I love the ruffles. The ruffle collars are just, I love that look. $58 is um, a little bit expensive, but it's actually pretty reasonable for Stitch Fix. <laughs> Do like. And then this um, Paper Moon Tinsley Sweetheart Knit Tank in Black Size Medium. This is $36. I think I might end up getting this. Um, and I, I'm actually surprised it's that low because I was expecting this to be a little bit more expensive, but it's not. So I'm definitely going to get this. I like how this looks on me. It's definitely wearable. I love wearing them with high-waisted jeans and high-waisted shorts. That's everything in my box. I feel like the prices were definitely more reasonable this round. Um, so my stylist picks subtotal was $298. That is, believe it or not, better than previous boxes. They have been pretty expensive in the past. The buy all discount is $74.50, so the order subtitle would then be $223.50. I've never purchased a full box from Stitch Fix as of yet. Still a bit too expensive for me, but I do like keeping my price range up there just because I like to explore different brands and just see the difference in quality and everything. So. Um, I feel like this box 
was definitely another really good one. And I've been with this stylist from the beginning. I feel like she's just done a really good job of listening to what I asked for. And I definitely think it takes time. I think you have to let the stylist get to know your style. So um, I think there definitely are benefits with sticking with your same stylist. I feel like these boxes help me get out of my comfort zone and explore a little bit. Like I wouldn't have gone for something like this, but I actually really liked how it looked on me. I hope you guys enjoyed this Stitch Fix unboxing video. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this box, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.